Howdy! Another day for another unboxing. This time I'm going to show you a sci-fi military figure by a Malaysian new company, Jekyll X. This is their first release in 1-6 scale figures. Let's start by looking at the box art. You got a plain white background with the watercolor of the title character, Sergeant John Rees. Looks great. Also, this one is a special edition. They have the Death Squad sticker up front. Later on, I'll show you the difference between the regular and the special edition. On the side, the full title, Sergeant John Reese. For this figure, they release a regular version with the camouflage fatigue and another one with the full black uh, Black Ops version. Originally, I have no intention of pre-ordering this, but after seeing it upfront and personal at ACG Hong Kong, the physical product, the details is just amazing. You can look at the head scalp or the helmet scalp, it's very sci-fi with the skull face, very amazing. New manufacturer in 1-6 scale, this company is very committed. They research, design and build all their own equipments. Besides a cool looking helmet, there is also a removable face mask with, attached by magnet. As you can see, there are some space in between. If you like, you can probably add an LED for that. Besides the helmet, there are also other amazing parts for this figure. First off, you have to look at the, both the bionic arm braces. It kind of reminds me of Edge of Tomorrow. They are all functional, basically. Very nice molded and painted with articulation. You basically attach the forearm and the bicep for their hands. I wish they go with a glove hand that would look more exciting. This one, half finger is... Well, it's not the hottest item. Also, I wish they used some softer plastic for the hands. That way you can use the gun more easily. Okay, besides the braces, there are very uh, military or uh, vest pouches on this figure. That's all very nice quality. Right. They fit perfectly, they're well tailored, and also they have some flat anterior grenades. And the shotgun shells, they are metal, real metal. That tells you how much the company are investing in the products. The knee packs and the uh, uh, pistol holster and the pistol, all designed by the company itself from scratch. You can tell they have spent a lot of time doing research, design and prototype on these products because each one of them is uh, built from scratch. You haven't seen them before. Although the figure might not be perfect it's the, as it's their first release, but you can tell from the commitment. Very committed. There's nice shoe, one piece motor shoes, boots for that. What is the military figure without guns? For that, we give you an assault rifle. A very sci-fi, very futuristic. Because of the death squad, on the magazine they have the skull, the full grip is foldable, and also you can see the motor bullet on the clip that can fit rightly into the assault rifle. There are also other moving parts in this on this assault rifle. The stock, stretchable, extendable. The scope is removable. Show you the other side, and also there's this thingy on the front that you can remove. I don't know how to call it. I didn't research for it, but it's nice. Shows you a lot of detail on the product. Besides the assault rifle, they also have a shotgun. At first look, I would thought it was a sniper rifle, 
but since it comes with a shotgun shell, it must be a shotgun. It's very different from the conventional. Uh, this also has this fall grip. But however, there's not a lot of moving part on this one. But it's still nice. Although you might see the military gears from other figures before, but from the look in my hand, they all spell quality. I was most impressed when they include the small booklet. It tells you how much the company have put their thoughts into this figure, their best story, etc. Basically, it tells you what has mankind done to the world that leads to damage, and then eventually the uh, creation of John Reese. And also some very nice photo inside too. Not so for humanity. It's awesome photos. And also they have some of design photos of the guns, of the helmets, of the equipment, all 3D designed by themselves. The pistols, the assault rifles, the arm braces. They have also opened pre-order for the next figure, Joe Hagen in both the camouflage regular type and the death squad night ops black type both look amazing besides that they have some figures in the work the mechanical arms and then the snow patrol with the transformable pet all looks amazing in closing you can take a look at what is offered in this set Besides the figure, it has the futuristic uh, figure stand, two guns, the booklet, the backpack, and the accessories. Although their price point is higher than average figure, I would still recommend picking it up if you are into sci-fi military. As this is their first product, there are many rooms for improvement. However, the company is very committed in their design. As you can tell, they do everything from scratch and they have built a backstory. So I hope you enjoyed the review and hope to see you again next time. Cheers, bye.